Hello, and welcome to this presentation about the STM32H7 Advanced Extensible Interface, or AXI, interconnect. The AXI, or Advanced Extensible Interface Interconnect, is based on the ARM CoreLink NIC400 Network Interconnect. Its main features are 64-bit AXI bus switch matrix with 7 AMBA slave interface blocks, or ASIBs, and 7 AMBA master interface blocks, or AMIBs, in D1 domain. AHB AXI bridge function built into the ASIBs. Concurrent connectivity of multiple ASIBs to multiple AMIBs. Programmable Traffic Priority Management, QoS, or Quality of Service. And Software Configurable via GPV. The STM32H7 AXI interconnect is shown in this figure. The interconnect has seven initiator ports for the dual core version, or ASIBs, AMBA slave interface blocks, and six initiator ports for the single core version. Both versions have seven target ports, or AMIBs, AMBA master interface blocks. The ASIBs are connected to the AMIBs via an AXI switch matrix. Each ASIB is a slave on an AXI or AHB bus, advanced high-performance bus. Similarly, each AMIB is a master on an AXI or AHB bus. Where an ASIB or an AMIB is connected to an AHB bus, it converts between the AHB bus and the AXI bus protocol. The AXI interconnect includes a Global Programmer View, or GPV, which contains registers for configuring a few parameters, such as the quality of service, or QoS level, at each ASIB. Any access to unallocated address space is handled by the default slave which generates the return signals. This ensures that such transactions complete and do not block the issuing master and ASIB. The AXI switch matrix uses a priority-based arbitration when two ASIBs simultaneously attempt to access the same AMIB. Each ASIB has programmable read channel and write channel priorities, known as QoS, from 0 to 15, such that the higher the value, the higher the priority. If two coincident transactions arrive at the same AMIB, the higher priority transaction passes before the lower priority. If the two transactions have the same QoS value, then a least recently used or LRU priority scheme is adopted. The QoS value should be programmed according to the latency requirements for the application. Setting a higher priority for an ASIB ensures a lower latency for transactions initiated by the associated bus master. This can be useful for real-time constrained tasks, such as graphics processing, LTDC or DMA2D. Assigning a high priority to masters that can make many and frequent accesses to the same slave, such as the Cortex-M7 CPU, can block access to that slave by other lower-priority masters.